So we've had a great morning this morning. We've got an opportunity to come there to Hibdram, which they house the best panto in the country. I've been coming to pantomimes at Hibdram since about the age of six with my family, and I bring my family as well, and we're going this week as well. So we've got an opportunity to come and meet some of the, the stars. We've got Bev Knight, who's a local girl, uh, Suzanne Shaw and Matt Slack. So I thought, why not come down and give them an omelette challenge? We had the omelette challenge, um, however it turned into more of the scrambled egg challenge. Um, but all good fun, in the spirit of Cinderella. Yeah. yeah. <laughs> we put them through their paces. We had fun, enthusiastic, it was chaotic, and produced two awful omelettes. So just like anything, really. Um, um, I'm not sure it actually does tie into Cinderella. I'm not sure there's any scrambled well, eggs. She likes eggs. In there, but she likes eggs. She spends her time in the kitchen. Yeah, that's my backstory. Yeah. I'm a fan of eggs. Yeah. Yeah. She, she, her sisters, yeah. you have to cook for your sisters um, all the time. Yeah. yeah. As well as doing the shopping. So, you know. Yeah. And we're best friends, Buttons and Cinderella. That's so right. we cook for each other on a yeah. daily basis. Totally. In um, a loving, caring kind yeah. of way. And, um, but on this occasion, she won. Yes. <laughs> Beverly, she didn't want to cook, she said, I'm not cooking. I said, okay, you can be in charge, Beverly. So then Beverly, she decided who won, and she went with, with Susan. Well, I, I didn't do the cooking, I was just the judge. So um, I came out down here and, and was ready to taste, so I knew that would be my job. So, And they were both great. We did all right. Say. Yeah. Yeah. You did great. Yeah, I'm a little bit disappointed <laughs> in myself. I've let myself down. <laughs> I'm only joking, I couldn't give my money. It's been great fun and um, again, I just think it's a fantastic uh, pantomime. It's on until the end of January and yeah, good fun to go see. Don't eat the omelets. We're halfway through. We're halfway through now. Literally, yeah, literally, yeah, halfway through. We are halfway through. So we've got, uh, we finished on the 28th of That's January. Right. And, and it's the, uh, this is my fifth year, and, but this is my favourite. I shouldn't say this on record, but this is my favourite year. Favourite yes. cast. Yes. Best, best panto I've, I've ever done. You know, I've done. 18, 17, 18, and so I just love it. Cool. Still three weeks to go, why should people still come? Because it's brilliant. Because it's brilliant, and we've like, just so much to see on the show. It, it's, a, it's a spectacular. Mm -hmm. It is, people think of West End shows, they think of, you know, or kind of high end. Well, this is that, mm -hmm. with laughs, yeah. <laughs> big yeah. laughs. In fact, enormous laughs. And some of the effects that you see on the stage are breathtaking. You know. And you won't see you won't you see won't in a see West End yeah. stage, you know. No. Also this people think because it's pantomime, the term pantomime, it people get put off and they think it's just for Christmas. It's not. This is a show. Come and see Cinderella. Cinderella. Yeah, this is a show. Yeah, yeah. So uh, yeah, Susan Shaw is now the 2019 Hippodrome Omelette Challenge champion. But you would never work in the news. I think let's just leave it here, shall we? I think we should wipe our mouths and we'll walk away from the whole situation. This is like one of the best days of my life. I didn't like expect to keep. I, I'm going to actually lie to people when they come to my house and say that I'm his sous chef. Sous chef. Sous chef. Hey, it's Panto. It's Panto.